Opening round of the AT&T National from historic Congressional Country Club outside the nation's capital. Nick Watney is a past champion. He won at Aronimink outside Philadelphia in 2011, but shots like this made him look like a past champion at Congressional. That's an eagle two at the fourth for Watney, who opened with a one under par 70 on day one. Brant Snedeker, Pebble Beach champion this year, third in the FedEx Cup points race. He can roll it, we know that. But this was even outside Snedeker's range at the ninth. 54 feet for birdie. And Snedeker opens with a 69, one of just 27 players under par on day one. They included Bud Cawley, who's had a quiet sophomore season on the PGA Tour, but played a pretty crafty shot here for his third into the sixth, which led to a birdie in a round of 68. Cawley is two off the lead at three under par. Billy Horschel, one of the hottest players on tour. Six top tens in his last eight starts, including the victory in New Orleans. Birdie there for Billy. At the eighth, he shot 68 as well, and he's in the mix once again. So is Graham Dillette, who finished third at the Travelers last week. He was just a shot out of that Chris Stroud, Ken Duke playoff at River Islands. Long birdie there at 15 for the Canadian, who opens with a 68. Roberto Castro. He was the 18-hole leader at the Players' Championship when he shot 63 back in May to share the course record. Well, he sets the pace here at Congressional as well. Second there at the seventh, chipping in for birdie. Three straight to move to five under. Then at the eighth, out of position, but not for long. Watch this recovery shot. Beautifully done. Gave it a peek as it scooted by there and set Castro up for a par saving attempt, which he buried to shoot 66 and move to five under. He leads by two. Friday's coverage on Golf Channel begins at three Eastern. At noon, you can hear the live call on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio and PGA Tour.com.